Let's begin by introducing the supply parts and hardware. We have right side, left side crash bars, two cross braces, and a left side and right side bracket. In terms of hardware, we will supply two M10 by 185 millimeter hex head bolts plus washers plus tie lock nuts, two large spacers for the right side and two small spacers for the left side. Furthermore, two M8 by 30 millimeter long hex head bolts plus washers plus nylock nuts, two M8 by 20 millimeter long bolts plus washers, and two M8 by 20 millimeter long bolts plus washers plus nylock nuts. Tools, ratchet plus an extension, hex sockets 17, 15, and 14 millimeters. Additionally, you can also prepare small ratchets or extensions and a 10 millimeter hex socket. Wrenches slash spanners 17, 15, 14, and 30 millimeters. You can begin by removing the front fender. It is optional. It will give you more space to work with. And then grab a 14 millimeter hex socket and wrench and loosen the nuts. Once the nuts have been removed, you can push the bolts back out. There are four OEM spacers. You will have to reuse them, so don't discard them, please. Now you can proceed with mounting the right side bracket. Gently put it into its place without scratching up the parts and components around it. Grab the through bolt and the tall spacer. And then the OEM spacer on the back side. And then the second OEM spacer, again, where it was placed originally. And then push the bolt through. Repeat the same at the bottom. So supplied, tall spacer, OEM spacer, push the bolt partially through. You might have to wiggle it a little bit. And then the last OEM spacer, supplied small spacers, left side bracket, and then put on the washers and spin on the nylock nuts. Now you can turn both nuts a few times. Do not tighten it. And then grab the top cross brace, put in the rubber pads, you can move on to installing the left side crash bar. Grab one M8 by 20 millimeter hex head bolt plus washer. Use some blue Loctite, turn the bolt a couple of times, but leave it loose. And then an M8 by 30 millimeter long bolt plus washer. You can repeat the same thing on the right hand side. Put in the M8 by 20 millimeter long bolt plus washer, add some Loctite. and then the M8 by 30. Now you can mount the lower cross brace. Like so. You can put on the washer and spin on the nylock nut on both sides. And then you can mount the top cross brace. Because now you have the rubber pads mounted, it will it might take a little convincing to push it in place. Line up those mounting holes. And then you can push the M8 by 20 millimeter hex head bolts plus washers through their corresponding holes and spin on the nylock nuts. Same thing on the 
other side. And you can leave the nuts loose for now. So once it's all done, you can begin to gradually tighten all the bolts and nuts. You can start by tightening the larger diameter bolts and then the smaller ones. So it's gradual. Do not pull one bolt all the way tight. Just a few turns and then start all over again. Don't forget to double check all the bolts and nuts again after a test ride. Also, if you have removed the front fender, now is the time to put it back on. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Email info at outbackmototech.com or call toll free 877-931-3636. Thank you for watching.